In healthcare facilities such as a hospital, nursing home or other facility providing healthcare services to patients, Australian Standard AS4083 sets out the procedures for planning and response to an internal or external emergency. Hi, my name is Russ Porteous and I'm the CEO of Firewise. In this video, we're going to cover the standardised emergency colour codes in healthcare facilities. There are two Australian standards that cover the requirements for emergencies in buildings in Australia. The first one we have already mentioned, which is AS4083, and the other one is AS3745 that covers the planning for emergencies in facilities, including healthcare. In a healthcare environment, it is common to draw on both AS4083 and AS3745 for the development and application of an emergency plan. An emergency plan incorporates elements that provide for the safety of the occupants of the facility and its visitors leading up to and during an evacuation. In AS3745, the group responsible for the development and maintenance of an emergency plan is called the Emergency Planning Committee, or EPC. And the person or persons responsible for the application of the emergency plan is called the Emergency Control Organisation, or ECO. In a larger facility, the ECO can incorporate a number of people, including the Chief Warden, Deputy Chief Warden, Communications Officer and other Wardens. A First Aid Officer may also form part of this group. Within Australian Standard AS4083 and 3745, there is a framework for seven specific types of emergencies that are signified by colour codes as shown on the thumbnail on my right. These colour codes include red for fire or smoke, purple for a bomb threat, blue for a medical emergency, black for serious aggression or personal threat, yellow for an internal emergency, brown for an external emergency, and orange for an evacuation. For most healthcare facilities, an eighth colour code has been adopted, which is grey, for threatening behaviour. It is common to see these colour codes throughout a healthcare facility and on personal identification cards or lanyards carried by workers. According to the National Health Survey, prepared by the Australian Bureau of Statistics in 2018, about 549,000 people in Australia are affected by colour vision deficiency, also known as colour blindness. For some people, a colour code system alone can be challenging unless the colour is associated with text or a pictogram. To help address this, Firewise has developed a mnemonic that incorporates a combination of colour, words and illustrations to help people identify the different types of emergency colour codes. The mnemonic has been developed to fit within the footprint of a standard credit card and may be used in conjunction with an employee identification system. Other options are also available which includes stickers for telephones and wall posters. So let's wrap things up and summarise what we've learned so far. An emergency planning committee for a facility is responsible for implementing an emergency plan. The emergency plan should indicate emergency colour codes to help communicate the type of emergency within a facility. There are eight emergency colour codes used throughout Australia, one of which, grey, is not defined in the standards but is widely used. A mnemonic with a combination of colour, words and illustrations is strongly recommended to help communicate emergency colour codes to help people who are colourblind. If you've reached this far in the video, thank you, and we have a special bonus for you as well. If you would like a copy of the credit card size mnemonic described in this video, then please visit our website at firewise.com.au forward slash colour code and enter your name and contact details and we will send you the artwork for incorporation into your lanyards or emergency plan. You'll also go onto our waiting list to be notified when we launch our free online training to help people develop their own emergency plan for their facility. Lastly, if you found this video particularly useful, then please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to be notified when we publish new videos. 
Firewise produces a range of content about fire safety to answer your burning questions. If you still need help, feel free to reach out to us via the contact page on our website or call 1300 30 88 22.